Hello and welcome. This is Luralås and uh, this is a Stellar lock that is suspiciously cheap. Brass padlock they claim. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, not if you look at the coating. This is, seems like a cast iron and painted uh, brass lock. Something that the, the package even uh, admits. Let's take this out. Oh, don't break. Top grade imitate brass padlock. It has a very good anti rust rating. Anti prying is extraordinary, and anti sawing is quite decent. Suggested use it. Sheds, gates, lockups, industrial, commercial, residential uses, heavy functions, heavy duty use. From the Gianda Locks Factory in Pyongyang. Let's take a look back here. Vice choice. Stellar security lock. Stellar security lock is particularly designed for the social security. It contains a good character and is specifically suitable for those important places, such as family, warehouse, office, and so on. Against the versatile key. The internal construction of the lock has innovated and modified from the usual ball to the special multiple layers one, so the, special, the versatile key cannot turn on the lock in any way. Against saw, hardened steel shackle cannot be cut by saw. Avoid to be priced with an interesting uh, spelling. The device contains very hard R steel ball to pin the shackle, and it is so strong that it cannot be priced by force. And against the brill, against brill, hardened lock, something, something, Let's see if we can get this little thing out of the way and read that. This has some information about the distributor and such. Oh, that came, came right off. That's good. Against brill, hardened lock shaft cover can be against drill. Let's take a look at the lock itself. No, let's actually look at my new pick. I had a bit of pear tree laying around, so I made a pick. It's very nice. This has quite a strong spring actually to turn the core, so I don't have a perfect but I do have a perfect one I will actually take the thickest top of the keyway tool I have put it there and then uh, I will try to single pin this one uh, and I actually realized when I tried to open this the first time that uh, it's actually quite decent against being uh, raked so I had to give it that. I gave about what constitutes to two and a half euro or two and a half dollars for this one in a little shop. So this far it's actually holding up pretty good for the price. Uh, we have some clicks back in the keyway. Let's move to the front. There's a binder. Second pin, nothing. Third, fourth. It looks like fourth is binding. And at the very back, nothing. Let's go to the front again. Front is binding. And I keep sliding off. The 
extraordinary tension is actually making this quite hard. Click out of second. Do we have a bind on third? Doesn't give me anything. Fourth. Nope. Fifth. I click on fifth. Is that a sixth one? Yes, it's a sixth one. And the front one seems to be binding again. Third. There. And we have it open. I would say that you could probably shim this. Look at the shackle. They just dip the entire thing in, in this paint. And then assign the task to the lock body just to cover it up when you close it. Uh, you could probably shim this quite easily. I could imagine. I'm not going to bother to do that. It does hold up against raking quite well. Let's see if we can demonstrate. No. Uh, I will try to... I have to use the, another tensioner. I'm going to use this slim one. It's the it's the stiffest one I have by hand, so I'm going to try it and then use the rake and uh, attack it for a bit. There, I, I would say for for the price, it holds up very well. But the real treasure here is this one. Thanks for joining me. Bye.